Now, it's the case of one hacker versus Sony. George Hotz, a.k.a. Geo Hot, is a 21-year-old hacker from New Jersey. And he was the first person to jailbreak an iPhone. And last month, he was the first one to fully hack the PS3 console. He released this code online along with a how-to video and now finds himself embroiled in a legal battle with the mega corporation. And it seems like he's got them pretty ticked off. This week, George released a blog entry asking the media, supporters, anybody for financial help. But what exactly is his cause? And does he think that he can win? Well, joining me from our studio in New York is electronics hacker George Hotz. George, thanks so much for joining us. Now, I just mentioned that you were the first person to jailbreak the iPhone. You did it with the iPad, too. Now you have PS3. Are you trying to get famous here? I mean, I, I have to say that it isn't totally selfless, but what's more important than me is, you know, the freedom to use the devices that you paid for in any way you see fit. So is that what you say uh, your cause is? Yeah, I I'd say my cause is to, you know, if companies want to put these security measures on these devices, great, good for them. But if we want to come in and we want to remove these security measures so we can do legal things with our devices, then I think we have every right to, and I guess that's my cause. But, you know, I think that, uh, one of the problems that Sony has is that people could start using uh, this with pirated video games if they are uh, opened up, right? Well, they can't use my stuff with pirated video games. I made, a, I made a special effort when I released my stuff to not support pirated video games. But more pressing than that is just the immensity of the press and, you know, attention Sony has brought to this issue that has never affected more than a very small segment of their customers. Well, I gotta say, Sony really is, seems to be taking this, uh, you know, in a very difficult way. Like, this seems very harsh on them because they're going after it. They basically just want to control the entire internet. I know that they asked the judge if they could erase this code from the internet that you put out there, but uh, do they not get the once that information's out there, it's out there? You can't just wipe it clean? I mean, they're using, they're using fear-mongering tactics. They clearly say on their blog, you know, oh, we're banning everybody who uses uh, any hacks, but everyone else, you can continue playing without fear. And the fact that they use the word fear, like, they're just, you can't suppress information. Once it's out there, it's out there. But I'm wondering, is some of that fear working? I mean, you are one individual hacker going against Sony. This is a mega corporation. I mean... You know, every day I wake up and I do think about the lawsuit. And, you know, there's, there's a small element of fear, but on the whole, fear doesn't win. And that's been proven time and time again. And it's a lesson they don't learn. Well, I think it seems to me like you're having a little bit of fun with this also because you did release a rap video, which I find very amusing. And we have a little clip of it that we're going to play for our audience. I shed a tear every time I think a lick sang But shit, man, they're a corporation And I'm a personification of freedom for all You fill dockets like that's a constant farm to y'all The lawyers muddy water and TRO stall Out of business is death me and you're suing me civilly uh, Now, George, I would say you should keep your day job But it doesn't seem like that one's going so well for you either Considering that you're getting sued uh, What's the deal with the rap song? Was that just for fun? Or are you really trying to uh, send Sony a message there? I mean, you know I think about the lawsuit a lot, and I, I wanted a creative outlet for my, for my energies that wouldn't harm anyone, just in good humor, and I, I think it was pretty well received. Well, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, what's the maximum fine? Uh, is there a prison sentence? What are you really up against? No, it's, it's a civil lawsuit. I mean, look, I'm right here. Do you really, if Sony really wants something from me, come and ask me for it. I really don't think they want, you know, my car, which doesn't work, and the... You know the money I've accumulated in the last few years. What they want is to send a message. And it's ridiculous. I mean, I think we should send the, the opposite message back. You know, I bought a uh, Sony Xperia X10 a couple days ago, and I'm looking into the security on that. I'm going to look into the security on the Xperia Play because, you know, in the end, freedom prevails. I can't believe that you're being sued by Sony, and yet you're going out there spending your money buying more Sony products right now. That seems preposterous to me. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. I bought it used. I didn't support Sony directly. You know, but on the whole, I like Sony. I think their products are pretty good. I think they have some issues that they need to work through in management. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully after this blows over, they'll, uh, 
you know, take a look at what they did and how they can do it better next time. So you really think this is going to blow over? You think that you have a chance of beating them? Oh, without a doubt. I, I think I, I, not only, I think I will beat them. Um, I mean, I think the reason they brought the suit is just to harass me and just to, you know, this is what happens to you if you hack Sony products. And I think, you know, beating them in court is just a start. Okay, so I'm curious. You did the iPhone, the iPad, now you have the PS3 under your belt. What's your next project? Uh, well, I, you know, I, I don't like to talk too much about my later products. Uh, a lot of my, ener a lot of my later projects, a lot of my energy now is being focused on Sony. Um, you know, both in the courtroom and out of the courtroom. But, you know, I'm excited for the iPhone 5. All right, so you're not really even going to tell us. Um, now, lastly, I just want to ask you, you put a video out there asking the media, asking people for funds. I mean, clearly it's not cheap to fight a corporation like Sony. And uh, are you getting a lot of good responses? According to Ars Technica, you have friends with very deep pockets. Um, as I read in the comments somewhere, I have a lot of friends with shallow pockets. And I, I was amazed. I, I put that up, and in two days, I covered my legal costs and more. I'm not going to go into exact details on the numbers, but I, I feel very confident monetarily. That well, so they're not going to beat me by, you know. So they're not going to rob you blind, is what you're saying. Well, it seems like there are a lot of people out there uh, supporting your cause, and apparently the code is out there. Sony can't do anything about it, but they are putting out threats that anybody who uses a PS3 console that has been hacked uh, will now be kicked off the network. Not really sure how they're going to do that, but um, George, thanks so much for joining us, and we will continue watching your lawsuit as it unfolds. Thanks a lot for having me.